Today I'd like to say something about the therapy process. People who have never been in therapy before uh, are curious to, to know what it's about or what they might expect if they were to choose to uh, engage in a course of therapy with a clinician. Um, one way to answer that question or try to get at it is to say something about what therapy is not. One of the things that I find when you ask people, um, what do you expect to get out of the sessions? Um, what are you hoping to achieve out of uh, our work together? Uh, people will often respond by saying that they're looking for uh, skills or tools to help them deal with some aspect of their life, whether it be anxiety, depression, or relationship problems, or, or whatever. Um, now, what's interesting about uh, that response, you know, that a skill or a tool, is that a skill, I think, implies that there's going to be something that's going to be taught uh, explicitly. Uh, that there's this sort of pedagogical relationship between the clinician and the client or the patient um, and that the expert clinician is going to instruct the client on, on how to deal with some problem or issue. And there is, I mean, in any kind of therapy, both good and bad, there, there's going to be some of this, okay? So examples might be um, uh, dealing with anxiety or symptoms of panic, right? A clinician might help uh, a client uh, with breathing techniques, um, controlled breathing, mindfulness exercises to help them, you know, deal with some of those those issues. Uh, with depression, there might be this aspect of kind of challenging rational thoughts if if they're irrational, and if it's uh, assumed that the irrational thoughts are, are causing some of this emotional distress that the the client is experiencing. Um, now, this sort of approach, though, I think, is often not really doing a whole lot more than helping a person manage symptoms, right, or cope with symptoms. Um, so the reason why I think a, a lot of people find themselves stuck in some aspect of their life is they're actually stuck because there's something kind of operating just outside of their awareness that they can't quite put their finger on. And it's usually something operating on, on a physiological kind of emotional level, you know, that, that hasn't been made explicit. So I think in in good therapy, okay, in a really good therapy session, what happens is a client walks out of the appointment not thinking explicitly, oh, I know something I didn't know before, okay, I understand something factual, or I have a skill or a tool that now I can utilize. In a good therapy session, I think people walk out kind of feeling different. They feel moved in some really important way. Uh, they feel in some way that they've been opened up, you know, to experiencing things in a different way. And it's those kinds of experiences in therapy, I think, that really kind of promote kind of growth and the kind of change that people are looking for.